Hi, this is Rob Lyons from Ocean House Marina. I'm pleased to present this video showing you the changes in the uh, Charlestown Breachway after the dredging 2012 of the Charlestown Breachway Basin and Relief Channel. Uh, this project began January 2nd of 2012 and was completed on March 2nd, 2012. Under budget, uh, it was approximately $954,000. It removed 57,000 cubic yards of sand from the basin area and about 17,000 cubic yards from the relief channel. Uh, this video will show you both from perspective in a boat running through the channel, highlighting the turns that you have to make and the hazards that you have to avoid, as well as uh, showing the channel via our pic satellite picture um, and charts depicting the areas that were dredged. I uh, hope you enjoy it and it's helpful. Please give us a call if you need any additional information and happy boating. Well, we're out here, it's uh, the end of March, second, third day of uh, spring. It's kind of early, but with this uh, unseasonable weather, uh, we took advantage of uh, filming the uh, approaching uh, the channel and the new improvements after the dredging of uh, Charlestown uh, Breachway and Basin. What we wanted to do is give some background on the dredging that just occurred here um, this past March 2012. Uh, this project that currently finished was actually a maintenance project of a much larger South Shore uh, restoration project that was done that began back in early 2000, uh, commenced around 2004. Uh, with dredging and, and um, it was dredging these areas to create habitat for eelgrass and part of it was to dredge the basin areas and a relief channel into the pond. So six years later these areas had filled back in but part of the restoration project was a maintenance aspect which was um, a state responsibility but due to budget constraints, the town of Charlestown approached the state and partnered with them so that we could get the job done. So as we come in, uh, different from last year, uh, this whole area right now would be maybe three feet at best. Right now we're looking at over nine feet of depth. This is called a, a sedimentation basin, which is designed to collect the sediment that comes in from the ocean. It's supposed to be trapped in this area. This was dredged to a, uh, approximately nine feet, this whole area here. Overall, uh, we should get at least a year, year and a half out of the current dredging before we have to start uh, pinching in the channel. But right now we're out in the center of the basin area. We just passed the launch ramp over to the east. And you'll see, a. Uh, our first marker is going to come up on the west side of the channel. And that marks the shoal that comes out from the point, the first point where we're going to turn. As we come up, you'll see some more markers on our east, excuse me, west side. And they'll be marked with uh, green, which tells you you have to stay to the right. If you remember the old saying, red right return. You keep the red markers to your right and your left, uh, the green to your left. Once we pass this last point as the pond opens up, you're going to pick up uh, the markers ahead of us. You'll see a floating buoy which marks a sunken barge that's probably well over 100 years old. The sand that continues into the pond filled in these, uh, this big sand delta where the restoration areas were made. However, what they saw right in the beginning of the project in 2004 was that one of the uh, restored areas was filling in faster than expected. So what they did was they incorporated a, what we call the relief channel that directed the, 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 uh, the current and the sedimentation that goes along the bottom that's transported across the bottom into uh, away from these restored areas. You'll see today is a great day because it's a very low tide and you can actually see the, the sandbar exposed. You won't see this all the time, 
and you can see where we actually dug right through the sandbar. We're going right through the cut. We cut right through the sandbar. We're going to line up with the buoys at the end of this channel, which are a floating red and green nun buoy. You can see where the water here is, is breaking. That's where the dredging stopped. The town of Charlestown appropriated $150,000 in the last two fiscal years to join with approximately $700,000 of state money for a total of over a million dollars uh, to get the current project that was just completed. The project commenced in January 2nd. Uh, it took the dredge contractor a month to set up and then it took exactly one month to do the dredging. The diagram here on the on the right side is the actual uh, basin area and the dredged areas that were that highlights the dredge area. And um, here on this chart, we show all the uh, participants of the project and uh, want to thank all of them for their cooperation in getting the job done. We pulled more sand out than expected, so the whole project was a huge success. Came in on time and came in under budget. And we pumped 57,000 cubic yards out of the basin area and approximately 17,000 cubic yards out of the relief channel.